Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. Not too long ago we put out a video about the new Thermomix TM6. We'll drop a link here or here for that. Um, anyway, the creators behind that, Vorwork, um, don't just do kitchen appliances, they make cleaning appliances too. Um, in fact, if you check out their website, you'll see they have a decent selection of cleaners on the market right now. Uh, one of those cleaners being the Cobold VB100. It's a cordless vacuum cleaner suitable for both hard and soft floorings and has a retail price of £749. As always, we start with the unboxing. Within the box you get the cleaner itself uh, with, in two parts, the shaft and the head, um, we'll call them, um, a pre-installed battery and filter bag, a floor nozzle, a charging cable and all the instructions you need. Uh, setup was very easy, you just need to clip the shaft into the head, uh, plug it in at the mains and leave it to charge for three hours. There are three pairs of um, green lights on the cleaner which indicate battery level and once it's fully charged all the lights will turn off. Overall the cleaner is very lightweight at just 3.3 kilograms. It's easy to lift and maneuver. Um, it's also relatively compact and should be easy to store within a cupboard although there is no wall bracket provided or any way of hanging the cleaner on the wall if that's your thing. Um, I think it looks pretty smart as well. Sleek lines, white finish, uh, not too many buttons and zero attachments stuck to the outside. Uh, it stands on its own but it's a little bit wobbly and will fall over if you knock it. Um, it's also It also doesn't stand perfectly upright. Um, it appears to overhang but it stands up okay so perhaps it's just an illusion. It's definitely worth reading the instructions prior to use um, as it lists out which type of floors the cleaner is suitable for. For example, it's not suitable for a porous, delicate, natural stone, but it's fine on a marble or granite floor. Uh, there's a long list, so make sure you check it out before using it for the first time. It's very simple to use the VB100. There are only three buttons to choose from. The big green one at the top turns the cleaner on and off, and the smaller button underneath it sets the suction power level. One white LED on the handle means soft suction, two for medium suction and three for maximum suction. The default setting when turning the cleaner on each time is medium. The third button is located on the head. Um, it's large enough to be controlled with your foot, which is handy as it selects the mode for the electric brush. One LED light uh, is normal mode, two lights for turbo mode. No lights means the brush is turned off, uh, which is best for deep pile carpets. And if both lights are flashing red, then the brushes are blocked and you need to take a look. The brush system does come apart somewhat, uh, so it's easy to clean and remove any blockages. Before we get onto performance, I'll like to add some context into this test. I use this cleaner in a standard four bedroom house with carpets upstairs, wood flooring downstairs. Um, I have two cats, both of which shed a fair amount of fur, and I just did my usual weekly full house vacuum clean. Um, I didn't do anything different, uh, other than swap my old cleaner for the VB100. As we know, charge time is around three hours and Vorwerk states a running time of between 12 and 80 minutes, which is quite a wide range. Uh, in reality, it's hard to distinguish the quality of clean between settings unless you literally clean up Hansel and Gretel's breadcrumbs. Um, I went straight to the maximum suction and turbo mode, the best possible performance available, and the performance was really top notch. However, I didn't manage a full house clean, which I was hoping I would. Um, I only managed uh, the upstairs and the staircase itself, not downstairs at all. Now, I wasn't doodling, nor did I get in all the nooks and crannies, and I would agree that the 12 minute runtime is accurate on the high settings. For the next clean, I stuck with the default settings, uh, medium suction and standard brush, and I managed to clean the upstairs, stairs and half of the downstairs. So a better runtime of about 16 to 18 minutes, and I didn't notice a huge drop in performance at all. So you have to work out um, that balance for you if you're trying to achieve a clean in X number of rooms, within one charge. The cleaner performs exceptionally well and on those high settings you can really feel the suction between the carpet and the cleaner. It cleaned very well on both my carpet and wood flooring, picking up all sorts of rubbish and crumbs left behind from my children. What I did notice that my current cleaner does sometimes is the brush uh, doesn't always collect all the rubbish and it would spit it out. 
perhaps my current cleaner isn't up to the job sometimes, but it would tend to I tend to hover over something minimal. It would suck it up and spit it halfway down the corridor. Um, I'm glad to say that this didn't happen with the VB100. The joint between the shaft and the head is fairly smooth. It's very easy to steer the head left and right, um, and I didn't notice it get stuck at all. The grip and the shape of the handle um, are comfortable. It's easy to use your foot to click and unclick the head. Um, I did struggle on the stairs though. Um, it was not very easy to get the angle and maneuver the cleaner um, in such a confined space. However, the nozzle did help um, get into those tricky places uh, on the stairs um, and the edges of the carpet around my rooms. I found the cleaner can be very quiet. I turned the settings right down on my wood floor as it didn't require such an intense clean and I had no complaints from the pets or children which was good as they tend to run away when my normal cleaner turns on. Even at the highest settings um, it was still a lot quieter than my current cleaner. One thing worth mentioning is that the cleaner will tell you when the filter bag is full so there's no need to ever remove it until the lights on the cleaner turn yellow which means it's time to remove the bag. When it does need changing, it's a breeze to change and will take less than 60 seconds. You will need a decent supply of bags and you can purchase a pack of five for 18 pounds direct from Vorework. How long will a bag last? For me, um, I'd probably get three full house cleans out of one bag, assuming the kids haven't had an arts and crafts day. Um, the battery is also plug and play, so you can purchase a second battery and plug it in when the first battery dies if you wanted. The Cobalt VB100 is a cracking vacuum cleaner and I definitely recommend it. It is more expensive than the top of the, top of the range Dyson V11, but to me it looks better and it's better on performance. Now I would have liked the battery to last longer on the high settings, but I came to learn that the high settings are not always required. It is a bit tricky to use on the stairs and it's some and it is somewhat annoying that you need to keep on top of your filter bag supply, but these are small gripes. That is a wrap on this review of the Volwerk Cobalt VB100 vacuum cleaner. If you want more info on this cleaner, head over to technoario.com where you'll find a written review for this, plus a number of other product reviews that you may find worth reading. If you have enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button at Technoovo on all the socials to stay up to date with our news and reviews and thank you for watching.